Welcome to Delish Dunia. It's all about food. Let's go on a food journey. Please make sure to subscribe. So I'm going to show you um, how to make butternut squash soup. So depending on where you are uh, around the world and how the weather is, it is uh, usually for fall, autumn weather um, that it tastes really, really good. So the uh, story behind it is that we actually went to, uh, for our first anniversary, we went to uh, Washington State, so near Seattle, and then we drove to this uh, little town um, and for our first anniversary slash Christmas, we ended up uh, going to this place for dinner, which was at this house. And what was really nice, it, it, it was a house and right there, it's like they had set up a, a corner for with tables for people to sit. And they had a big island where the chefs were cooking. And um, I would say that's probably the first time I had uh, butternut squash soup and it was delicious and I mean really delicious so after that I tried making it once and it just wasn't right I just couldn't get it right so anyway um, I eventually figured out the secret ingredient that made it so good so this recipe that I make I use my instant pot uh, to make it so those of you that have an instant pot uh, it's easy to make. You could also make it in a slow cooker. So if you don't have an instant pot, there is a variation uh, that you could apply for the slow cooker, um, which I'll have to uh, post in the comments. So anyway, so what I have is basically you need a medium squash, a butternut squash. So a medium, you're probably thinking, how much is that? It's about three to four pounds of uh, butternut squash. This is actually from my husband's garden, so I'm kind of excited to see because I think this might taste even better. Uh, but usually what I end up doing is you can even buy it diced because cutting butternut squash is quite a task. So I have it all chopped up here and this is such an easy recipe, right? So you go ahead and put all the butternut squash in the Instant Pot. And then uh, the other ingredients are uh, one carrot. I didn't have one carrot. So what I did is I just took baby carrots and uh, decided to use the baby carrots. And I ended up um, dicing them uh, over here. So I'll go ahead and put that in as well. And then the next ingredient is onion. So it, um, you can use... I guess white onion or yellow onion if you like, but I enjoy cooking with red onion. I think the flavors are better. Usually one medium diced. I didn't have one medium. I had a lot of small ones, so I just went ahead and did three tiny ones that I've diced over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in there as well. All right, so that's our beautiful onion. And then garlic. We love garlic. You could do four to six cloves of garlic, um, which are also diced. So four to six cloves of diced garlic. If you like garlic a lot, you can add a little bit more. If you don't like it, you can add a little bit less. We love garlic. So I'm putting that in here. And then um, the next ingredient, this is the secret ingredient, is the green apple. I never thought that it would give it flavor, but the green apple gives it that little tang, which just brings the whole dish together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. All right. Then it asks for a vegetable broth. So if you don't have vegetable broth, just use whatever you have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use uh, the broth and you need about two cups of broth. 
So I have that in there, which is great. So it's time for the spices. So um, salt. So I'll put a try and get enough of it in here. You can always add salt later if you miss out. So good amount of salt. If you like Himalayan salt, you can use that as well. And then a little bit of uh, pepper. So you don't want to overpower the flavors. A dash of cinnamon. Okay. A dash of nutmeg. Okay. So I got that. A little bit of cayenne. So not too much. The one I'm using is quite spicy actually because it's an Indian chili powder. So I will put very little here in there. Okay. And then the last thing is a uh, fresh sage. And these are from my husband's garden. So I'm really excited. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on top. But before I do that, I'm going to mix these ingredients real quick and then uh, we'll go ahead and turn it on. So let me go get that and here we go. So it's quite a lot, mixing it all up. It looks nice and colorful, really pretty, uh, really pretty colors. So let me do that. Yep, it's looking beautiful. So let me just show you real quick. Just beautiful. So I've mixed it all up and basically I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Make sure that it's sealed and then put it on high pressure. So pressure cook high and for eight minutes. So once this is done, then we'll do a few other things that I'm going to add to the video. The instant pot is done with the butter, uh, butternut squash soup. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And then I'm going to take out the sage and discard it. And then I'm going to mix in a half cup of coconut milk. Okay. And once I've blend I've mixed it in, I'm going to put it in my blender and blend the ingredients. If you have an immersion blender, use the immersion blender, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in my Ninja, which is pretty good. So stay tuned for the finished product. I've blended the soup and then I've added a little bit of coconut milk for garnish as well as paprika and a little bit of sage. So you can enjoy the soup now. It smells delicious. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you.